We're going to begin speaking about the auditory nerve and the auditory cortex. So sound is only meaningful if it, if it is perceived. The brain is essential. So you could have a normal outer ear, a normal middle ear, a normal inner ear, a normal auditory nerve even. But at the end of the day, if your auditory cortex isn't making sense of the sounds that it's perceiving, what's the point, right? So at the end of the day, the brain is essential for hearing. And there's still a lot to be learned about how the nervous system transmits, receives, and processes information related to sound. There's a lot to be learned about the brain in general because we can't really actively study a person's brain. You know, are you going to volunteer your brain right now to science? No, you, we, so it's very hard to study. You know, we could do animal studies, um, but human studies on active brains are pretty challenging. So the auditory nerve and the central pathways are very complex. There are two types of nerve fibers, ascending afferent nerve fibers and descending efferent fibers. So they both provide stimulation and inhibition from both sides of the cochlea. The way I think about it is if you're holding your hand over a fire, the afferent with an A nerve fibers will send a message up to the brain that it's dangerous, that you're going to burn yourself. And the efferent nerve fibers send the message down to remove your hand from the, fibers, from the fire. Within the auditory nerve and the auditory cortex, there are periods of way stations where sounds are processed and reprocessed and shared all the way up through the auditory system. So there are groups of nerves where sound is processed and shared between the ears and reprocessed and shared all the way up to the auditory cortex. So there's a lot of analysis and reanalysis of the acoustic methods, um, the acoustic message as it travels up to the brain. And this is called intrinsic redundancy. So having this intrinsic redundancy helps us separate the speech from the noise. And there's a theory that those that don't have good intrinsic redundancy have trouble hearing speech in noise. 